Hi, Tefeldude here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the background color of any PDF document and enhance the text at the same time. And we're going to do it in under two minutes using this PDF Exchange Editor, the free version. Now, just look at how blurry this text is in comparison with this text. Other examples I'm going to show you is how to invert the colors from white on dark background to black on a white background, and also notice how the text is a lot larger. In this example, we're going to edit through paint.net, which is a free software. Normally, you could only incorporate an image, but using this software, we can click on the edit, right click and say, edit the image in paint.net. And when we save it, it will be saved here looking like this in your PDF document. In our final example, we're going to mix the two editing programs. So we're going to obviously remove the background color and enhance the text. But in addition, if you want to keep the images, we're going to edit it with paint.net and even make those images smaller. And seriously, it takes two or three minutes just to do this. So the first thing we need to do is download these two pieces of free software. I've provided the links here and below in the description. So let's go and download them straight away. Now, when you click on the link below, you'll be taken to this page. Notice that the editor plus is $72 and that's what you want. If you're going to eventually buy it, it must have the plus on it. Click on download and choose the 64 bit MSI installer that will download, take you to a new page. It will download. I've done it already. So I'm going to stop the download. And next you need to go to paint.net. It's free to download, but via the windows store, they will charge you. I, however, I'm going to install it using this Ninite. So here, what you can do is you can download lots and lots of free software like VLC player, Chrome, even uh, Foxit reader. So everything you tick will be downloaded. I've clicked on paint.net only. As you scroll down, this will be made for you and it will install all the software you've chosen for you. So you don't have to do anything. So let me click that. And as you can see on the bottom left, it's starting to download. So let's go now and install these two pieces of software. So here we are in our downloads folder and let's install the PDF exchange editor first. Double click. Select next, accept next. Now for this, let's do the complete version. And remember, we're staying with the free version. We don't need the licensed version. Install, and that just takes a second. Now I won't click launch just yet because we want to install the paint.net. Now, if you download it from the first link, just double click that and drag this icon onto the desktop. And there it will be, and you can install it from there. But in this instance, I'm gonna let Ninite install it for me. Here I click show details. And if you were installing more software, all of those software would be there and it would all be installed for you without you having to do each one. Okay, so that's done. We can close that and close that. And now you can see the icon for paint.net. Now we won't need to open that because it will be opened through the PDF exchange editor. So let's start editing the documents. Now the first time you open up PDF Exchange Editor, you will see this ribbon view, which is a bit like Microsoft Office. But what we want is the classic view. So go here, switch to classic, and you can get all the tools in one go. Now to add a document, you can either 
click open, go to the respective area and open it, or you can simply drag the document in. Now, if you don't see this area on the left here where you can access the thumbnails, let's say that it isn't there or isn't visible. Simply go down to options and click on thumbnails. Now, the reason I've got the thumbnails open is so that you can hold down control, click on that page and drag it. And then you get two of them. And at the bottom, you can see, I can look at two of them at the same time. Notice this information, a demo stamp will be placed here if you click save after all your editing. But we're not going to do that. We are going to go up here and click print to PDF. So don't worry about that. But we can use the full editing function. So here's our two pictures, exactly the same. Go to documents and we're going to OCR it. Now we want to use the enhanced OCR, but it isn't available. If you look here, it just says searchable image. This is free to use. If I use this, it will make the image searchable, but it won't make it clearer. The letters will still be blurred. So what we need to do is go to edit preferences, click on OCR and change it from default to enhance fine reader. Click apply. Okay. And this time when I click OCR, you see that I can change this to editable text and images. Now, make sure you select the second page. So page one is on the left, page two is on the right. And I'll leave it on auto. I don't put ignore text in graphics because sometimes I want it to find text in graphics. Leave that on. This detect skew is if the page is deskewed, it'll fix that. But we can leave everything as it is. And there you can see already the text is really, really sharp. And all we have to do to get rid of the background is to click on this icon here, edit. And if you click in the box here and then delete key, you can see it's deleted most of the background especially the picture. All we have to do now is move this in order to delete the background green. And the best way to do that is once again, click on the image and I'm going to do this twice, once, twice, because what I want to do is I want to use the left side and compare it to this side. So what I'm going to do now is delete everything here. Even that delete. And then simply click on this area and drag it across here. And you can see already all the writing is there, but it is not really black. So if I click on it, let me zoom in before I do that, just to show you. If I click on it, it's clicked on it, and I zoom in, I go here and I say black. I could have chose red, but I'll choose black. And then the next item goes in here. I think it's a little lower, something like there. Maybe a bit closer, I can use the arrow keys to move it across. And there that is. Also, I'm going to click black. And that's it. Maybe that part of the bottom as well. So that's our page. The only thing missing is that image if you want it. So what we can do is 
I don't need this page anymore. So I'm going to click on it here, press delete and say, yes, delete. Or I could right click on it like this one and go delete and delete that. Now you can see if I click on the hand tool, now you can see it's really, really clear. The only thing I'm missing is the picture. Before I put the picture in, I'm going to show you how we can make this text even larger. Drag your cursor from left to right. And now, if you hold the center, you can move it to the top right. Grab the corner at the bottom. Now, if I do this, it will do that. But if you hold shift, you can make it larger, respectively. And now click on the hand tool and you can see the words are much larger and clearer. Now to get the image, we can simply zoom in, click on the snapshot and drag it like that. Then I click control V and it pastes it. Now I can make the picture as big or as small as I want. I put it in here. And in order to make sure it never moves again, what you do is you right click and say flatten selected comment and it will flatten it. Now, if I was to click save, I would end up with stamps in the corners. So I'm not going to do that. What we're going to do is simply print it as a PDF. So watch this. I'm going to print. And if you click here, everybody has Microsoft print to PDF. So you don't have to print it to your printer. Just click it, print to PDF. You can select the default page size, but I don't want to. Now it's on the wrong page. I want to print only picture two, this one. And I can use the page size like that. That looks nice. Or I can use A4. So let's stick with A4. And I'll just click print. And I'll save it to the desktop as politics. Now, here on my desktop, if I drag this in here, you can see I have this one image and there's no stamp on it, nothing. And that's how you use the functions they give you, but you don't get the stamp. Now, in order to make this, we've got one more step. In order to make this selectable, see it's not selectable, it's like an image, but a very good image. In order to make the text selectable, what you need to do is OCR again, but not with the special function. So if you were to go here, OCR, and just click searchable image, you'll still get the stamps. What you have to do is cancel that, go to edit, preference, OCR, and click default. Now the default is free. So go back here, OCR. As you can see, I've only got one choice. This is the default. And I'll just say uh, the current one. Okay. And now if I click save, there's no stamp because this OCRing is free. But now what I can do is I can highlight some words. If there were some words that were underlined that you need to underline, just click on underline here and do that and they're underlined for you and notice the reason we have this uh, text look is so that when i click on the underline i can choose what color to underline i can choose uh, the kind of line i can choose how thick it should be so that's nice and the same with the highlighting you can choose the colors from here and do all that so that if i click save you can save those kind of things so that's our first edit done, and it took about two minutes.
In our second preview, we're going to hold down the left mouse button and the control and drag the page to the right so we have two of them. And we're going to OCR the one on the right. Remember to make sure that in the rep preferences that you go to OCR and make sure it's on Fine Reader. Because last time we left it on default. Make sure it's on Enhanced Fine Reader, Apply, OK. So we'll go to Documents, OCR. Make sure you have this on editable text and images and not searchable image. Also make sure that it's page number four, as page number three is on the left. And leave it on Auto. Okay, and now you can see, actually, that's not really white, is it? It's more like a kind of blue. If you did want it to be white, you could simply just click on the edit, click on that, and choose white. And there you can see there is a difference in color between them. But we actually want it to be black, so I'm actually going to change that to orange. Click on that. And that way I can see them when I move them. But for now, what I want to do is duplicate that page twice. So I'll go hold control and mouse, control and mouse. So I've got them side by side. And the easiest way to do this is to click that box at the side, press delete. So it's got rid of all the background color. But what I want to do is get rid of this color as well. So let's do that on the other side. And what I'm going to do is hold the mouse button on the left, go right across and then click delete. And now I'm going to change this to black and simply drag it across. And then I don't have this uh, bar anymore. This one also, I'm going to, actually this one, I'm going to make it like this and drag that across. Leave that like that. The text, I move across here. You can see it's orange. So what we need to do is change that actually to black. And this one as well. And then simply drag the rest of this across. And I can put that lower down. And that's it. It's done. But why don't we just make it bigger? So let's move that up there. You can move that to the top right, that to the top left. And simply hold the control, oh sorry, hold the shift and drag it. And the same with this, hold the shift, drag it to the left. And you can see the text has become somewhat larger, which is good. Obviously, it didn't take with it these underlines, but you can do that later. So now I'm just going to simply click on this page, the one with the color, and right click, delete. And the same for the page before that. So that all we're left with now is the original on the left and the new one on the right. And that looks pretty good. Like I say, you can copy these numbers over. If, th if those numbers don't get copied over, just simply zoom in. Snapshot. Control V. Copy. Control V. Go back to the hand tool. And now you can move these here and we can put them there, six and seven. But remember to flatten these. So you'd have to go to select comments, drag it over in the middle, right click, flatten. And now everything is flattened and not movable. The next one we're doing is this dominoes, and now let me just left click, hold down left click and control, and make two of them. 
Now for this one, what I want to do, I don't want to use the enhanced OCR yet. What I want to do is make it straight first, and then I'm going to use paint.net in order to reverse the colors. So let's see how we do this. Go to document, OCR. Now remember I said I don't want to make it editable, editable yet. So let's go to search image and that's all. And this detect skew is gonna correct the page angle. Watch it as I do that. Remember the page number is page uh, five, six. So it'll be six, page six. And if I go okay, and you can see it has de-skewed itself. Now I'm going to use this paint.net. And the way we do that is we click edit. If I was to click on this and press delete, the whole thing would go. That's not what I want. I want to right click, edit image, edit with, and here's our paint.net. You can use Photoshop or other things if you're more familiar with it but this one is free. And all we do is click on this tool, this square, drag it from one corner to the other, go to adjustments, invert colors, click on that. Now click the X outside of the page and there you can see it's now reversed. All we have to do now and watch this as I put this to this side, all we have to do now is click save and watch what happens to the PDF on the right. Click OK. Voila, and it's done. And now is the time we want to do that OCRing because yeah, the text is okay, but it would be nicer if it was sharper, wouldn't it? So let's go to documents again, OCR the page, but this time editable text and images. And it's gonna be page six and we go, okay. And now you can see the text is nice and sharp. Plus it means you can edit it. There may be little errors like number one here should be I. You just double click inside it and I plus space and it's done and that's it. So it's as simple as that. Now I'm not gonna click save. Remember, we're gonna print it later as a PDF. If there are some areas that you're not happy with like this on this side, remember you always have this ability to just snapshot something. So you could snapshot the whole of this and just drag it over here. And then it looks normal. Simply right click, flatten, and it kind of looks normal. So there's a mixture of things that you can do here when you're editing. If you don't want this, if you forgot to delete this, you can always use a text box, make sure you write it on zero points, and then you just draw a text box on top of this and it's disappeared. Right click and you can flatten the text box and you can see there's no more black markings. Now we're on to the final one, which is this one where again, I'm going to use the, the PDF editor to get rid of the background color and enhance the letters. But in addition, I'm gonna use the paint.net to keep these images because I like these images of the people and let's imagine we want to keep them. So this is the trickiest one, but still it will only take about two or three minutes. Once again, we left click control. So we've got more than of one of them. And this would be number eight document. I'll see on the page. It's page eight. Make sure it's on editable text and images and click OK. And this is great because you know, you just could never ever print this brown and black on a black and white printer, it wouldn't show up. 
So we've done the editing. So let's, this is the one on the right that's now clear words. And what we want to do is repeat it twice. And I'm doing that just to show you how you can transfer the words a lot quicker and easier. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to click on this image. I'm actually going to get rid of everything from here. I think, I think I'll just get rid of everything. That's the easiest way. And here, when I click, I'm going to not click delete because that's all well and good, but I do want those images of those people. So what I can do is right click, edit image with paint.net. Okay. And you can see that's the image I'm getting rid of, but all I want to get rid of is the colors. So why don't I click this bucket tool? So click the bucket tool. In fact, this time I'll move it on this side so you can see what's happening. So I'm clicking the bucket tool. And then if I click something, any, any color I like, for instance, this gray, it will actually make it, let me make it wider. There's a tolerance level here. It will actually make that gray black. And if I wanted it to be another color, it would make it purple, things like that. But what we want to do, I'm going to do control Z. What we want to do is make the brown white. So the best way to do that is simply click this reverse swap colors. And now if I click the brown, it's a bit too powerful. So let's lower that. There we go. We still got her click with the X here. And we can do it with the green and the green here. And with the gray, or oh, is that too much? No, that's okay. Now, if I wanted to get all the gray, what you can do is if you hold shift and control, click on the gray, it will look for any other gray color. See, and it, but it done it too much. It's, it's removed their faces. So if I bring that back, that's a bit better. Actually, I'll control Z. I'm happy with just doing it one thing at a time. Now, so I've got the pictures. There's still a bit of um, paint around it. What you can do is use the paintbrush. Click on the number, make it a nice big round, not 45, make it maybe 40. That's better. And uh, I can make that white like that. Yeah, that's better. And you can get rid of this, this line here, get rid of those dots. And if I hold the space button, it turns to a hand so I can move things around. So that's there. Okay, so there's our images. And all I'm going to do is save them. Notice that this didn't become part of the text. So it's a good job we did save this. So I'm going to click save. And as I do, have a look on the left. Ta-da. So let's leave this for a moment. Now I'm going to move everything over to the right hand side. So I'm on edit, click hold, grab the middle and drag it across. And there's our images. Now all we have to do is drag this text over here and it leaves behind the colors, which is great. Yay. So I'm going to delete all those colors here. And as for this one, I'm just going to delete that color individually like that. Actually, that should say language, shouldn't it? G U. Maybe I'll do it. Oh, there you go. That's okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to drag everything over. Even the, uh, the number actually. So let's drag everything over. I think it's about there. And let's drop that there. 
Okay. So now remember, is it like layers? The first one that goes on there is the bottom layer. So the images of those people are the bottom layer and the, that text is the top layer. If you don't understand what I mean, what I mean is, look, if I take this layer here, now this is the, the bottom layer. And if I go back with this text here, see, it's covered over because now it's become the top layer. I'll just do control Z so it's back to normal. So that could be that, if you're happy with that. But I just wanna show you a little trick if you wanna make those pictures of those people a little smaller. And what you simply do is we're gonna use paint.net again. Right click, edit images, paint.net. It's here again and you simply have to draw a square over these objects. Click this button. If you click this one, you can actually move the, what you want to be the image of. Click this one, you can make it smaller. And I can make him very thin, I can make him very fat. But if you hold the shift key, you make him proportional. So I'm gonna make him quite small. And uh, maybe I'll move him to the left. Whoops. Maybe I'll move him to the left. There we go. And for her as well, click the square. I'm gonna make her quite small. Click that arrow. Hold shift so that she's proportional. And then I'm just gonna click save. And watch what happens to them. They shrink. Honey, I've shrunk the kids. And now you might think you've finished, but why not just make the text bigger? Click on edit, click on there, hold shift. Hold shift when you do this and you can drag the text, to make it bigger. Hold shift, drag the text, move it down. Hold shift, drag the text, make it bigger. And there you go. You have a wonderful page to print. So let's delete those other pages. Delete, enter, delete, enter. And now you can see what was before and what is after. And that's all that's to it. So what I can do is delete all the original pages. and simply print these four pages. Go to print, all of them. You can see here's all the pages that I'm going to print. And make sure you have it on Microsoft Print PDF. Um, leave it as a four page print. And I'll call it all four. And now if I drag in the all four onto here, you can see there's no stamp. There's simply the four documents with no stamp, but I do need to make them uh, OCR'd again, because I can't select the text. So once again, simply go back to the edit preference and make sure you turn off the enhancer, go to default, apply, okay, document, OCR the page, all of them English auto, you can see here, it's searchable image only, and we'll see how long that takes. Okay, it's done, and as you can see, there is no stamp on the pages because that OCR part of the program is free. So it's just letting me highlight the words. So here where there were underlined words, I could simply find them and underline any necessary word or highlight like I did in the other document. So there you have it. That is how you remove background color, enhanced text using both the, this program, the PDF exchange editor alongside the paint.net program.
So hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it, give it a like. And on my next video, I'm going to show you how I do all this with Foxit Professional. It does it a little differently because it has like the PDF um, .NET embedded in with the program. So as soon as you do it, it's a lot quicker. But it does cost twice as much as this program. This program, if you were to buy it, is only about 300 slotty or 60 pounds or 70 dollars. But as you can see, we can do it and use it for free using this method I have shown you. So enjoy editing your PDFs. See you on the next video.